Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. Looking for commemoratives. Ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill up uh, this book. There's a link in the description to the books I use. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a bit of commission if you make a purchase, just so you're aware. Um, so we have got three Commonwealth games to get. Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland. Otherwise, we are pretty much there. Um, oh, it was Britannia. I thought it looked a bit weird then. Uh, up to and including Great Fire of London. There's been some other circulating ones that were minted for circulation but haven't appeared in circulation yet, so it's not the end of the world if we don't find them. But let's get into this bag and see what we get. Okay, then, into bag number one. So this is Technologies, the definitive design on the £2 coin. Some are lower minted years than others, just not low enough that it really adds value to them. Ideally, we want some exciting commemorative coins. But bag number one, unfortunately, a case of the diddlies. So hopefully, oh, there we go. That's what we want to see. Commemorative, this is Shakespeare's comedies. One of three Shakespeare £2 coins. This is the rarer of the three. Because it was minted in 2016, we'll check the edge inscription. All the world's a stage, so unfortunately, that's the correct edge inscription. 2016 seems to have been a bad year for the Royal Mint and edge inscription, so I do check them all on video. Um, oh, there's Brunel's portrait, a very common commemorative £2 coin. Uh, I will check the edge inscriptions, rotations, double dives uh, on all of the coins in case there's something else at the end of the video. We won't go through them laboriously because otherwise it would take me too long. Uh, to go through all the coins for the video but at the end I'll go through them and update you if we found anything. There's the VE Day Anniversary, very very common, the most common circulating commemorative £2 coin and there's the abolition of the slave trade. Uh, there is an NIFC version of this, one that didn't go into circulation. You can tell by looking at the inner part, you can see there's a textured bobbly pattern on the inner part of this coin. Uh, the, what, the version of this that did, didn't go into circulation has a smooth finish and the initials DG to the bottom right of the 7 within that uh, background field. So worth double checking if you find an abolition of the slave trade £2 coin. But um, unlikely because it means someone has to have bought or been gifted the set, broken the coins out and spent them rather than keep them for their collector's value. But uh, we always check for things like that. There's Britannia. This became the definitive design, standard design on £2 coins from 2015 onwards. Uh, check the date. It's all 2015, so it's a lower minted year. Very, very nice. So we'll keep that down on the bottom row. And there's the World War One Army Centenary. So check for the rotation error, which I've never found, but apparently they are out there. That's fine. Age inscription for king and country. So sadly, that's as it should be. One of the most common coins you'll find in your change. Not worth writing home about, but uh, plenty of coins out there that could be exciting to find. Especially if we can tick off something new for the book. Bruno's portrait once again there. And there's Charles Dickens. Lovely design, but very, very common. It's the Charles Dickens and the abolition of the slave trade £2 coins that uh, misinformation seems to be getting about again. About the abolition of the slave trade coin being worth a huge amount of money. I don't really know where that all comes from other than the crazy prices that some people have listed them on eBay for. But um, you can never trust that, as I've said countless times. But we'll see if we can actually find something of real excitement today. It'd be nice, especially if we can find a um, Commonwealth Games. It's been a while since we found one. We have found two for the well. We have found two whilst completing this book. Sadly, they were both was it England, I think. So we got a duplicate, but. You never know. Today could be the day. There's the gunpowder plot. Very, very common. Obviously, the Asian inscription that says, Remember, remember the 5th of November. Uh, sometimes you'll have people saying they have ones that say per member. It's just where the kicker of the R isn't very clear or has been weakly struck. That's fine. So, yes. It is kind of an error, but uh, not one that adds value, so don't worry about that. If you find a per member one, or if you see a per member one being listed, don't spend crazy money on it because it's not worth it, unfortunately. It has to be a real standout error to add value. That's the Act of Union, which again apparently has, the agent, has a rotation error kicking about, but that one is fine. 
So not an exciting error coin. It would be an exciting error coin though if we if we were lucky enough to come across one. I will keep hunting for one eventually. Ooh, that's very nice. Mary Rose. We don't see that too often. Very, very cool. Well, there we go. We have a star find. A real star find. We've got some nice finds already so far. We can't grumble at uh, the other two that we've that we've had already, but that Mary Rose is a league of its own. Not quite Commonwealth Games level, but definitely getting up there. Right then, should we do an edge hunt? We can do that on two pound coins because you can see there is wording on the edge of the two pound coin which is unique to the designs. If it says standing on the shoulders of giants, we know that'll be a definitive technologies one, but this one here, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, will be another Brunel portrait. There we go. A little bit grubby, but there we go. Any more for this little handful? I don't think so. Let's just double check. I do get comments every now and again asking me to do a whole £2 coin hunt as an edge inscription hunt and uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think um, it would get a bit boring a bit quick. Right, abolition, uh, abolition, act of union, no rotation error, so we'll pop that just there. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, not the most valuable coin, but I think it's one of the prettiest £2 coins out in circulation. The Great Fire of London. There is just so much going on in that lovely design there. Uh, it's designed by Aaron West, who also did the Isaac Newton 50p. Which is my favourite 50p. Because uh, obviously, uh, many coin designs get created by people who have previously done coin designs. Uh, so you'll find many of the designers have created multiple different designs over the years. There's another army centenary, no rotation error, king and country, no age inscription error. Just pop that on the top row. And there's the Rugby World Cup. That's in quite nice condition for a coin that circulated in 1999. But um, not a huge amount of value. Uh, well, uh, so even the most common coins can sell for more than face value so if a collector really needs one for their collection can't access cash or lives abroad they might part with a, a couple of pounds over the face value for it but it's still a very common face value coin another act of union no rotation error sadly we'll keep hunting though every now and again one of these um coins crop up with a new era we haven't spotted before as well I say we the royal we as sort of coin collectors in general another VE day anniversary obviously with the uh, internet and everything it's so much easier to share when you find a new era coin and to get the information out there uh, abolition of the slave trade once again and a whole lot of nothing else well we've got plenty of bags to go we could still add some more star finds to the to the uh, bottom row there. Just got to believe. See that was a smidge over face value. The golden guinea. Very cool. That one's a little bit gross though. Obviously the prices I put up are based on good quality, good condition coins. Um, it'd be no help to you as a viewer if I were trying to subtract values from coins because it's a little bit dirty. Because I think it's easier just to give a general idea of this is what the coin's worth in good condition because you're not going to find it with exactly the kind of gunk that's on the edge of that one. Nothing from there. Oh, stacks of £2 coins getting a little bit wobbly over here. Should we do another edge inscription hunt? See if we can muster up anything exciting from that. We have got the shoulders, standing, shoulders, standing, giants, giants, on the giants, 150 years of nursing be Florence Nightingale one of my favorite designs it's a very pretty design on that coin but it is very very common will we we'll just double check it's only because in the past I've done an edge uh, hunt and missed a commemorative coin which is a uh, a little bit silly but it does happen I'm not infallible unfortunately wouldn't that be great Yeah. Oh no, that isn't the case of the Diddleys. We've got Brunel's Achievements, the Arches at Paddington Station. Uh, the uh, counterpart to the Brunel's portrait that we got earlier. I don't know. 
It'd be nice when we get a, if, if, it feels like an if rather than a when now, we get a new circulating commemorative £2 coin. Um, I don't think it's going to happen for a while given that we've got new definitives uh, potentially that could go into circulation first though. Uh, this is one of the Shakespeare £2 coins and this is Shakespeare's tragedies, one we have found an edge inscription error on in the past. What a piece of work is a man. Unfortunately, that is the correct edge inscription for that coin, so we'll just park it next to the other Shakespeare. We're just missing Shakespeare's histories, then we've got the whole Shakespeare set. Shakespeare histories is the more common of the three, so we've got a good chance with the three bags left after this, we could tick it off. Um, there's another Charles Dickens there. Very, very common. Of course, all the common coins like these ones up here and the technologies I, I will take back to the bank. I don't keep all the coins. I think, again, with an influx of new viewers recently, um, there seems to be some misunderstanding that I keep every coin that I find. I do. I certainly do not. And my pockets are not that deep. Um, and I would have coins from floor to ceiling if I was keeping all the commemoratives that I find. Right, penultimate bag. Come on. We can get some things more. I, I can feel it. We're going to manifest something exciting. Unfortunately, not in that bag. Apologies, sneezing. I'm allergic to not finding exciting coins, apparently. Right then, last bag of the hunt. As usual, links are in the description of this video to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There's also links to my other social media channels too. There's another VE Day anniversary. Uh, there's oh, another commemorative DNA Double Helix. We've not had it today. It is common, but it adds more variety to the hunt. Uh, there's also the peer box address if you want to write in to me and a link excuse me again a link to the britannia coin company's youtube channel that's the company i work for as my day job so please do check them out too we've pulled out all the commemoratives now so i'm just going to whiz through and see if there's any errors i've missed throughout the hunt well unfortunately no exciting errors found throughout all of those coins but we did get some very nice star finds so you'll have to let me know in the comments what you'd pick as the star find from today's video but uh, i would pick one of these uh, all that leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye